Hey guys, what's going on? Coach Luca here. And I'm Kelsey. And so what we're going to do today is cover one of the most important lifts, but at the same time, one that people are quite scared of and always thinking about safety. It is important. It's very important that we do this right. It's important that we know the coaching cues for deadlift. So what most people think there's only one way to deadlift, like the barbell deadlift, that's the best thing ever. And while that's a great lift, it's not for everybody. And especially not as a beginner exercise. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna coach Kelsey through a deadlift, but also show variations that you can do if you're not ready to do this variation. So, so we're gonna have a couple of different tools and implements, and I'm just gonna go through and explain you know, how we can use these and what are some good switch ups for you so that you can do this great exercise that goes strength, power, that builds your glutes, builds your quads, builds your upper back, and just so many better. So many things. So many things. And it's so important too because obviously you want to build strength to be able to lift more in the gym, but in everyday life, think about things like you're picking up your kids or you're picking up your groceries, things that you need to have strength and have your form more. Absolutely. This, I mean, this applies every single day. If you're doing this every day, tying your shoes. We need the deadlift, right? We're already deadlifting. So what I'm gonna do with Kelsey is first start, we're gonna kind of reverse engineer this, right? And say, hey, if you can deadlift with a barbell off the floor, this is what we want it to look like, or should I say, these are the things that we're looking for. And so what we're gonna start off with is this position. If you look at me from the side, in a deadlift, you want the bar super close to your shins, and you want the hip above the knee and the shoulder above the hip. So if you look at me from the front, I want to see that logo on the chest, right? So if I'm here, you don't see the logo on the chest. But if I'm here, you see the logo on the chest. Okay, so that's one of the things that we're going we're gonna to work with on Kelsey. The second one is most people really flare their ribcage, okay? And what we want is closing the canister. So exhale, side of the abs, and ribcage is down. So Tyler's gonna kind of shoot us as, as we go down to the bar. So what I like to do is before you deadlift, I actually have Kelsey push imaginary wall away. So if I'm here, I'm gonna push that wall away. So imagine like she's standing nice and tall. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Yes. Okay, now from that position, she's gonna hinge back down, push her butt back, and come back down to the bar. Yes. Okay, now everybody's gonna have a little bit of a different stance. So you wanna go your hands outside of the knees, there we go. And what I like to do here too is push the knees into the elbows so it creates tension. Your chest is going to be nice and tall. And a chin position is important. So you don't want to have the neck back. You want to actually pack the chin down like this. Almost the, the sexy double chin. Get that sexy double chin. You know you want it. So from this position, I'm a really big fan of before you lift, starting to push the ground away before you ever do the lift. This is going to make her feel her hamstrings and her butt. We're going to come up a little bit higher with the hips. There we go. Great. Chest tall. There we go. Rip that bar hard. Start pushing the ground away and slowly go up and push the ground away. Right? Don't pull. Think push the ground away. Push your feet into the ground. Come the back into that same position. One more rep. So pulling that bar close to the shins. See that logo on the chest. Start pushing the ground. Nice and tall. Great job. There we go. One of the things to think about is like at the bottom of the devil, blow air into your belly. So you're literally like you're getting, I like to say, if you had a belt, you want to blow your belly into that belt. And that creates stability all around and protects your low back. Now, Kelsey's got pretty good mobility, so she can go and do that. My variation that would be a step back from here is one of two things, okay? So I'll have Kelsey step through this side real quick. But if one of the variations that we can do, I'm gonna show you a quick one, is actually lifting off of elevated plates, right? So you can put it on plates, you can put it on blocks in this case. Let's say you're really tight and it's really hard for you to lift off the floor. Lift it up by inches, same position, much safer, right? So now I can get that same lift and get the benefits from it, but without, for instance, compromising my back, while we work on my mobility, we'll slowly go closer to the ground. The trap bar deadlift, we're gonna be looking at the same position, So Kelsey's gonna step inside of that trap bar. Now what's great about this is the weight is not in front, it's to the side, so it's loading her hips up more, but taking the pressure off the little back. And it has some room, so her knees have some room to glide forward. Now I'm still gonna say, okay, push those hips up a little bit higher, but up. 
Right? We still want that same position, but now she can grab the, the handle as hard as possible. Notice I'm gonna say same thing, push those knees out into those elbows, bring those hips up a little bit, good. Push that ground away and drive up, good. Let's do one more breath, big breath into the belly. And break. Perfect. So you can see how like that's definitely a safer drill. So if you have access to a trap bar, that is a better option, beginner option, even an intermediate option than this. Not to say that's not great, but we gotta see if this is the right fit. But where we start everybody and want to make sure that's great is with this, the kettlebell. And so what's awesome about the kettlebell is that even more so when Kelsey sets up for her deadlift, she's standing right on top of it. And my what I like to coach is like where her big toe is. Below, below the big toes where you want that bell. So as she goes back, pushes her butt back, comes back down, I'm gonna ask her to rip that bell apart like she's trying to do this. She's gonna create a lot of lat stability, core stability, chest is tall, and she's gonna do the same thing, push that ground away, get nice and tall. Very, very, very safe. And if we needed to, push. There you go, big difference when you push the ground away. And push, nice. And if we needed to, we could put, elevate that on place as well. So make sure you can, we can shorten the range of motion, we can shorten the load, you can change the exercise up and still deadlift in a safe way and get a ton out of it, right? So making sure that like, hey, don't skip the hinge, but at the same time, make sure that you're not compromising your health if you don't have that core stability or that hip mobility that we need to get out of. Yeah, I think that's crucial, figuring out a variation that fits you and your fitness level as you work on all of these movements and that's the key to be able to progress. Absolutely. Don't ever have anybody uh, make you feel bad because you can't do a certain variation and say, oh, you're not deadlifting with the barbell from the floor. Block. No, like, you, like, let's do the exercise to you and you'll get stronger, better, progress, and you'll be able to get to that. And here's the other thing. Maybe you don't ever have to do that for your goals. You never have to barbell deadlift off the floor for your goals. Maybe all you need to do is kettlebell deadlift or trap bar deadlift or elevate deadlift to get all the results that you need and stay healthy and stay safe. So make sure that, like I said, you're, the, the exercise is fit to you and not the other way around. Awesome. Well, Luca, thank you so much for all of these cues. So helpful. And everybody, leave us a comment below. Let us know which variations you're going to try out for yourself because deadlifting is so important for every single person. Absolutely. So leave us a comment below. Make sure you share this video with a friend because everyone needs to see it. Everyone needs to deadlift. We'll see you soon.